Welcome back to another day of positivity. One of the most important ways we have to be positive is to think positive, to appreciate the great unlimited gifts of health, especially that God gives us. And once we think positively, we need to think, talk positively. As we learned in last week's Parsha and the previous one, Miriam, she talked negatively about her brother, even she, though she had the best intentions, she got leprosy, same thing. The ten spies talk negatively about the land of Israel, and then the worst possible punishment happened, that they were severely punished, and the whole nation that cried was punished for 40 years. Now, one of the great, the Gemara and Yevamot, Memtet, brings the, the tragic story of the death of one of our greatest prophets, Yeshaya. We know one of the reasons I started this podcast is I heard a rabbi was talking, something was utterly shocking. I was shocked. He was like, talking negatively about the Israeli soldiers. Why is God defending them? Because some of them, unfortunately, have not been enlightened yet and don't believe in God. That's the worst positive, poss possible Lashon Hara. It's bad enough if one talks negatively about an individual, but about a whole group of people. The Chafetz Chaim makes this clear. God wants us to always talk good about each other because we're all the children of Hashem. And er any parent knows that a person is much more sensitive about the welfare of his children, even above his own. So... The great prophet that gives all the prophecies of Mashiach, Yeshaya, died a tragic death at the hand of his own grandson. His grandson questioned him three questions that were contradictions between the Torah and his words. And he knew that his grandson would kill him, so he ran away and said God's 72-letter name, and he got hidden in a cedar tree. But his uh, grandson, Chizkiah, the king, found him and cut the cedar tree where the mouth of Yeshaya was. Yeshaya, Isaiah, the greatest of all prophets. And they ask, why did he deserve to, this, such a tragic death? And the answer is, is because Yeshaya, Rashi explains the, the Gemara here, that he said, I live in a nation that has impure lips. And Rashi explains that he was not trying to chastise the Jews here, and God had not commanded him to say these words. On his own accord, he went and called the nation of Israel a nation that is impure. One has to realize that the essence of every human being, and especially every Jew, is the soul. Let's always look for the good in each other. And it's the Yevamot, page 49b. Look at the Gemara. It's so tragic that God is so sensitive about uh, talking positive that he made a example out of the great Yeshaya about this idea.